Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, May 12th. Hope everybody's having a good day in this market sell-off. I had my best day trading day of the year. Uh, and going back really as, as far as I can remember, I really can't remember having a one day profit as, as good as today, but plus 4,057 on the day. Let's go through these and I'll show you what we did starting with uh, only one mighty 90. That was in Tesla, book 250 on that one. No pairs trades today. And then on the runners, 519 in Apple, Microsoft 857, Piton 142, Roku plus 950, and my biggest winner, Tesla, plus 1339. So over 3,800 on the uh, on the runners. Uh, you know, obviously a huge sell-off today. So most of these were short. However, Piton and Roku, those were both on the long side that I booked profit. So uh, good stuff there. Let's take a look at these trades. I'll show you what we did. Let's start with the mighty 90s. Uh, or the One Mighty 90, which was in Tesla. And let's open up Tesla here. I'll show you what we did. So on the Mighty 90, uh, had this nice push up right into uh, a key level, both this, I was actually, I was waiting for it to get up to this pivot. I was gonna, I was gonna add more size, but I got in small here, just a couple contracts, uh, nice volume here. So I got short. Uh, did end up, it rolled over. I got out of half just on that little move down for a plus 10% profit. It bounced right back up to my, my pivot. I didn't, I didn't add after that little pause. I thought it, it may go higher. So I just held. And then once we got a little bit of a flush, took, off, took that off. So plus 250. Uh, while we're here, I'll talk about my, my runner in Tesla. So uh, moved all the way back down near lows of day and started chopping around below this pivot. So uh, I got short right here for downside runner. Caught, uh, caught this nice move here. I got out of three fourths of my position right here at this line, which was a good one because it bounced, uh, bounced back up, and I reloaded right here short. Uh, took some heat on that piece, and then finally rolled over. Got out of, uh, got out of a bunch again, and then held my last piece. And I think I got out of my last piece when it after it started to bounce here. Uh, so booked plus. Uh, 250 on the mighty 90 and then 1339 uh, on on the runner so really nice day in our friend Tesla Apple uh, Apple was another runner and an Apple uh, let's see what do we do oh yeah so it was chopping around chopping around came down and when it bounced up to uh, this unchanged uh, to yesterday's open caught this little move here uh, bounced back up and did I add to it? I don't, I don't even think I added to it. Uh, came back down. Anyway, got out of my last piece uh, right down here in Apple uh, for a nice $519 profit. And then Microsoft, another nice winner for $857. Uh, Microsoft was acting weak all day. Or actually, so it had that initial strength, came down below the lows. And so when it bounced up, just this little bounce here up near yesterday's low, that's where I got short. Market looked like it was getting really weak. Uh, got short there and caught this, and then it bounced on me, and I think I got out of my last piece somewhere down here. So nice trade for 857 in Microsoft. Piton, this was a long trade, uh, and this was earlier in the day. So both Piton and Roku around the same time had this nice big uh, volume spike in, in Piton. So when it pulled back to the unchanged mark here, got long, and this thing actually, you know what? I think I actually, I may have been going off of this one. I'm on this drawdown here on this pullback here. I think I got long there initially ripped up, uh, got another big volume bar. So when it pulled back, got long again, ripped up, took some off. Uh, when it came back down here again, I got long again. So stayed my welcome a little too long and, uh, started to flush. So when it, when it did that, I cut out of my last piece. So only booked 142 on Piton. I was up quite a bit more, but did not give us that extra bounce that would have really uh, been a nice winner. And then Roku, Roku did, Roku is another long that we took kind of around the same time. Got this big volume bar, little pullback here, got long, fired up, got out of some here, came back down, got in, went up, got out of some. Uh, and I think I may have done it one more time, but um, no, I, that was it. And so ended up booking 950 total in Roku. I think when it started to break back down on one of these bars. I ended up cutting out because the market was just getting weak. I didn't think Roku would hold up. It actually did. It just came right down to unchanged, rip all the way back up to the highs, but I did not participate in that piece. And then it did end up getting washed down with the rest of the market 
uh, where it's where it's right around unchanged now, but Roku holding up very well in the wake of the sell-off. And so that's all of our trades. So plus 4,057 on the day, new personal record. That always feels good. Uh, look forward to live streaming the next couple of days. We'll be live streaming Thursday, Friday, and every day next week. So look forward to seeing you in the live room. Talk to you then.